Welcome to Social Distancing Hour. My name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear. The world is crumbling around us, but let's play some Pokemon. Welcome to Trial and Error, the series where I teach myself how to play VGC through, you guessed it, Trial and Error. We're going to play a match on the ladder today, and at the very end of the video, I'll review my plays, try to figure out what we could have done better for next time, so that we can all learn together from my mistakes. My name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear with Yen Bear Gaming, and let's get started. Now, in this series, we use rental teams posted by other VGC players, and it's a brand new week with a brand new team. Today, we're using this team posted by Fezri Ozkan, who used it to get 5th place at the Malmo Regionals. You can find Fezri's Twitter down in the description below, and I encourage you to go follow him, show him some support for this really cool team. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so since it's the first time for us to use this team, let's just go ahead, take a quick look at it, get our first impressions out there, and the main thing I see when I look at this team is options, and that's kind of why I wanted to grab it. Lapras is out here with the Paris Song if you're in with the last two Pokemon, you've also got the Freeze Dry which becomes the Dynamax G-Max Resonance. I know the move name, G-Max Resonance, that's basically Aurora Veil, which is why we have the Light Clay there. Uh, Alcreme with Decorate to buff our Pokemon and Fake Tears to debuff the opponent. You've also got Incineroar with Fake Out Parting Shot, Parting Shot again to debuff opponents, but also Fake Out Support is fantastic. You've got a Weakness Policy Togekiss, which is really cool. Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, again if we Dynamax, Air Slash is going to boost our uh, speed, that's fantastic. As well as Follow Me Support is cool. Dusclops with the Trick Room, who can pair well with this Conkeldur here. Conkeldur honestly being one of the least versatile out of these Pokemon, but still out here doing fantastic work. Get that priority, Drain Punch. Thunder Punch is fantastic. Uh, no Guts, which is an interesting choice, but Iron Fist might work, because you kind of assumed that it's Guts. So, we'll see how that works. Uh, Haze, Trick Room, Pain Split on the Dusclops. Overall, mainly, I see all these options, and I think that that's going to be really good for us as we go forward. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but let's give it a try. An opposing trainer has been found. Okay. We're going to be battling against Hop B. Hot Hop B. I think that's Hop B. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Anyway, who has bringing the Duraldon, the Grim Snarl, the Como O, the Gyarados, the Lucario and the Togekiss. So I see a lot of setup uh, Grim Snarl there with the screens, Como O to get Clanging Soul. I mean, we've got a lot of fairy types, so I don't think Como O is gonna come, but we shouldn't assume that. Uh, I think though, looking at the leads, I think Grim Snarl probably comes paired with something else. Uh, what would be best against my team here? Mm, Gyarados, no. I think maybe Lucario actually. So I kind of want to lead Conkeldur plus. Let's see, how fast are these Pokemon? Decently fast. I think Trick Room would be nice. So if I let Dusclops plus Conkeldur, and then made sure that I had Lapras in the back for Togekiss, and maybe... Maybe... I should bring a Fairy type just in case. So let's bring Togekiss as well. So I'm gonna go Dusclops, Conkeldur to start with Trick Room. Togekiss and Lapras in the back, and we'll see how well that works. Uh, hopefully it does. Uh, I have no way to actually take a picture of this team anymore. My phone is totally dead now. The the other phone, the older one. Oh, and I also updated my league card and my outfit, so yeah. Alright, so we're going to be facing a person here who has those Pokemon, and hopefully we will do well. I like this arena. I like her style. Alright, Grim Snarl and Togekiss leaves. Okay. Interesting choice. I don't think I would have done that, but interesting. So, Light Clay and King's Rock. Interesting, okay. So yeah, I definitely see a Trick Room coming out here. Uh, you could try to Serene, Serene Grace me with the Air Slash, uh, but I'm definitely going to try for Trick Room. Um, I think though, Conkeldur does not want to be in against this. Is it alright for me to bring in Lapras? I guess so. Yeah, why not? Let's bring in the Lapras then. If you're gonna have screens, I guess I'll have screens too. I think that'll work well. So, we bring in the Lapras, okay. Thunder Wave. Ah! Yeah, it's all about the Serene Grace. So if I can get the Trick Room off, that'll be fantastic. But we'll see. I'm gonna be flinch kissed real quick. Oh, I got the Trick Room off. All right. Thank you, Dusclops. Thank you, Dusclops. 
coming through for us right at the end there. Okay, so real talk, uh, this thing is going to try to just paralyze all my stuff. I'm gonna night slash. Hmm. I really don't want to be paralyzed, but like, there's not too much I can do about it. I think I should G Max go for the Aurora Veil vale move. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna kill Togekiss, but just in case, we're gonna double up into it. Yeah, because the Night Slash is not going to be enough to take out this Grimmsnarl, so I might as well go ahead G-Max here. I'm assuming it's G-Max, it probably is because of the light play, but I didn't actually check. Again, this is my first time using this team, so let's hope for the best. Yeah, that's a G-Max. All right. Beautiful G-Max Lapras, who apparently is a lot more popular recently. I'm kind of surprised. I guess it's because of the promoted raids and stuff, but I've been seeing this on a lot more of the VGC Facebook groups and stuff. Okay. Thunder Wave, that's fine. We can't be uh, flinched. Okay. That's fine, Dusclops. If you're going to be paralyzed right now, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. So let's see. G Max Resonance. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad that we had tried to double into that Togekiss because I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to KO it. And apparently, we were not able to KO it. But that's okay. We got the Aurora Veil up. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, probably not going to do very much to me. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead then and nightshade that Togekiss now. And Max Geyser, the Grim Snarl. I think the Max Geyser is probably gonna do more, yeah. So we're gonna Max Geyser the Grim Snarl. I'm guessing this Grim Snarl. Okay, there's the light screen. I'm like, I'm guessing it doesn't have screens, which is a little surprising. But no, there's the screens. Oh, Dust Clops. Ah. Uh, oh! I'm paying for that early game luck. I'm paying a little bit. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and I guess I should just in case take out this Togekiss. Yeah, just in case, I'm gonna go for it. Dusclops is slower, so faster in Trick Room, so the Nightshade, if it does connect, is going to kill. Uh, if it doesn't, then the Max Geyser will hit. If it does connect and kills, then the Max Geyser can hit the Grim Snarl like I want it to. So, we both have our screens up though, which is kind of nice. Okay, cool. Nightshade does connect. All right, so Togekiss gone. Great. That's one of the fairies, one of the big threats to our Conkelder. Lapras is paralyzed. That's okay. We got the Aurora Veil vale up. I'm okay to be paralyzed. Uh, maybe not okay, but I mean it's part of Pokemon. Uh, three paralysis out of five? Five, six, something like that. I don't know. But it's alright. So this thing comes out. What is this? Ah, Como comes out. Interesting. So I'm still slower. Um, let me check how many turns of Trick Room we have left. Because my thought is that I want to haze this Como after it goes. Ooh, I only have the one Ooh, Trick Room turn left. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. Um, goodness. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. Well, I could save Dusclops. I wanted to haze. If I save Dusclops, I go into Togekiss. And I Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam is going to do a lot. Uh, but, ooh, okay, we're running out of time. Uh, I guess we'll Pain Split. And we'll go for Hydro Pump. Ooh. Bad move. Okay. I should have gone for the Freeze Strike. Sucker Punch. Alright, that's fine. I'm Pain Splitting. Just to try to get some HP back here. I'm gonna need to haze this thing because it's gonna go for the Clanging Soul. I think that's the move name. I really should have gone for Freeze Strike. Sorry, Timer. Goodness. Sub. Sub. Okay. Hmm. That's fine, actually, because I can Nightshade and break that sub. Um, but, okay. Do I want to Nightshade right now? No, I think I want to Trick Room, because if I Trick Room, then I can Haze. Haze, I don't know if Haze goes through sub, but I'm going to Trick Room. I think that Lapras might go down here. Maybe Parasong would be good. No, because I want to break the sub. That's the big thing. If I break the sub then he can't hide behind anything, which is good. I don't want him to be able to hide. So we're going to freeze dry. Um, maybe Parasong is something to consider soon. 
but I think for now we're okay. Paris Song would encourage a switch, which is kind of cool. I would like to encourage a switch. So, all right, sucker punch. That's fine. All right. Drain Punch. Now, I'm going to be hit pretty hard from this, but it hasn't boosted, which is cool. So it gets its HP back. That's fine. I guess it's more of a bulky combo, which is not nearly as threatening to me, which I'm good with. Lapis being paralyzed is not... Oh! Ooh. That, that one hurts a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, do I get anything out of going for the Trick Room? Kind of. Yeah, I kind of do. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for the Trick Room again. Do I want to perish now? Mm, I think I want to perish now. I could go for the freeze dry and I can maybe break the sub, but the problem is that the sucker punch and the drain punch are going to be more than enough to kill me. So I, if I go for the Paris song, I'm not going to get hit by the sucker punch, which is my big concern here. Yeah, okay. So I think I might be able to live the drain punch. Oh, it's Clanger Soul now. Ooh, that's not great. That's not great. Okay, if I can get the trick room up, though, I can go for the haze, which is which works. Assuming that it goes through... Uh, through subs, which I think it does. Alright, cool. I get my Paris song up. Now, do I get my Trick Room up? Soundproof. Oh! Komo has soundproof. Okay. I do not get my Trick Room up. Ooh, that hurts. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, realistically, I got a haze, right? Yeah, because if I even if I don't have the upper hand by taking out the uh, the sub, I think going for that is better. I'm gonna protect the Lapras. Uh, hopefully, he's trying to go in on the Lapras, which would be great. Uh, if I can go for that haze, that would be good. Sucker punch fails. That's good. Drain punch fails because it hits protect. Great. So this is a turn in my favor. That's good. So haze comes through. Does it go through the sub? I think it probably goes through the sub. That's that's the big concern, right? Does it go through the sub? Okay. So let me check. Yes, it does. Okay. So I can now go for Trick Room again. And I guess I'll freeze dry to try to break the sub now. If I can have it where the Como O does not have a sub up and I bring in the Togekiss, fantastic. Realistically, I think that it's going to go for the Drain Punch against my um, Lapras soon. So if I can go for this, like, if I can go for the Togekiss switch in versus a Drain Punch, that would be fantastic. Although, my Lapras is low on HP, so he could go for, like, a different move, predicting the Togekiss switch, but I think that's, like, a little bit too much of the 3D Mind Games thing, and I expect that we'd actually see a sub come out instead. Alright, but we do get the Trick Room up, so that's cool. And my Parish should drop to 1 now, right? So I assume we're going to be getting a Switch Out on the Grim Snarl, and then the Como is going to stay in, probably set up a sub, while I have to switch out my Mons, which is fine. My Aurora Veil does wear off, that's unfortunate, but yeah, we're going to go Kung Kelder, and we're going to go Togekiss. I think that we see a sub come out, which if we see a sub come out, I'm okay with it. Uh, I think the Grimmsnarl switches out here so we can see what the last Pokemon is, which is a big concern is what is that last Pokemon going to be? Uh, do I need to keep my Dusclops around? Things like that. But we have Trick Room up, so my Conkeldur is going to outspeed all these Pokemon. If he goes for the Clangor's Soul, then my Togekiss is also going to outspeed, so that's good. So I think right now, I feel pretty comfortable about the battle. I feel pretty good. And I, I feel like this team meshes better with me. It doesn't feel like there's as much of a learning curve. Yeah, there's the Grim Snarl switch out. I guess we'll see. I've still got four more battles to do with this team. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. Well, here's the question. 
and I, I know the answer actually. I was gonna say the question is that should I go for the Thunder Punch and is Drain Punch gonna be enough to take out the sub? I think that Drain Punch is gonna be enough to take out the sub and I think that none of the Pokemon he's got in right now have a move that can take out Togekiss most likely. So I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam and I'm gonna Drain Punch. If I can take out the sub, Dazzling Gleam is definitely gonna KO the Como. Uh, we could see a Dragon Dance come from the Gyarados, but again, I've got my Trick Room up, so I can always just Thunder Punch it after. Oh, straight up just gonna go ahead and Dynamax, that's fine. Uh, what, what's he go for? Dynamax Waterfall? That might be enough to KO Togekiss. Which would be pretty problematic if that happens. But let's see. Let's see. It depends on these uh, speed investments as well. So Drain Punch, does it take out the sub? Does it take out the sub? Yes! Okay, it takes out the sub. Good. So Dazzling Gleam then, hopefully will be enough here. Yes, there is the Dazzling Gleam. And we underspeed the Gyarados, which is fantastic. Thank you, my dude. Setting up those EV spreads perfectly then. Max Airstream. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be able to outslow this, but Conkelder going down is a little bit unfortunate but I do have freeze dry on Lapras so we have these we have super effective damage on this times two so that's good so this thing is a little bit faster than me but let's see what we're on turn three of trick room and I'm as long as I don't get paralyzed then I think we're good uh, if I get paralyzed we're in a little bit of trouble here all right and then Grim Snarl comes back out I'm not too worried about the Grimstar right now. Um, let me just go ahead and take a quick look at the Gyarados. Yep, okay. And we've got two turns of Trick Room. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna freeze dry. Uh, just in case, just in case I get paralyzed, I'm gonna follow me my Togekiss. Just in case. Because I, I, have two, I have two shots at this. I have two shots at this because of Trick Room. So, T-Wave, of course, was going to come out on me. Uh, we have Shell Armor. We don't have Water Absorb, so I can't... Ex okay, cool. Freeze Dry hits and gets really close to KOing. That's great. And Max Airstream is going to hit Togekiss pretty hard. Take me out. Okay. So, I... I hmm. If I go with Dusclops, I can go for the Night Slash or Night Shade. Yeah, okay, so if I go for the Nightshade, I definitely KO the Gyarados uh, and Freeze Dry, assuming that both of these Pokemon do not get paralyzed. If they both get paralyzed, I think we lose. So it comes down to a little bit of RNG, but that Serene Grace Togekiss, not in right now, so we're kind of okay here. So I'm going to go for the Freeze Dry on the Gyarados and the Nightshade on the Gyarados. This is our last turn of Trick Room. As long as only one of them or zero of them are paralyzed we're okay so hopefully no paralysis uh, if if let's see if I get paralyzed is there a way to come out of this after um, if that happens Togekiss probably dies or not Togekiss Lapras probably dies uh, I don't think Dusclops can 1v1 this team okay Lapras does break through though the freeze dry happens we're good all right so the last Pokemon in is this Grimmsnarl, uh, who we can just kind of wear down. I could Parasong and make it a draw, but I think that that's probably not the play. Probably. So let's go ahead, we'll Hydro Pump this, um, and we'll Nightshade. There's no need to Pain Split, Dusclops is pretty healthy right now. Battle was cancelled, okay, so it's not going to draw that out. Cool. So, we got a pretty decent win there. Uh, it definitely, if we had been a little bit a little bit less lucky, we would have had some big problems in that battle. But I'm really liking this team. I feel pretty good about it. Let's hop over to review. Okay, welcome to review time. I've got my notes. Let's talk about this battle. So, I think that the first mistake we made in this battle was not doubling into the Togekiss with Dusclops and Lapras when they were both paralyzed. I should have played around the possibility of not being able to move on one of those Pokemon, and while it didn't end up mattering because both of them were paralyzed, it still is a mistake in my mind. It's something that we should have done differently 
just in case we should always be trying to play around that RNG when it seems like it's pretty likely that one of them is not going to be able to move. Our second mistake here was of course hydro pumping the Koma O. I know that it came down to the timer, I kind of was like, alright, gotta click a move, and it was a total mistake. I definitely should have gone for the freeze dry. Uh, that's just completely on me. I, I knew better, it was just bad timer, and that's my fault. Uh, but that's something we can do better next time, is just to try to move faster. I think that's generally something I need to be working on anyways, but, you know, we've seen some progress throughout the first five episodes of this series. I'm getting a little bit better at moving quicker with a timer. Uh, then the third one was just not being sure about Haze and whether it would go through Substitute. I took a risk there saying that, okay, maybe it does, but not having that knowledge is a problem, and that's something I can learn from now. Now I know Haze goes through Substitute. Great. That's a cat, by the way. That's what that noise is. Oh, okay. Okay, a little bit of technical difficulties. We had a cat jump on the table, but we're back. Now, uh, the last mistake I want to talk about here was not knowing about soundproof on Como. -O. That was a big problem. Uh, I definitely had played to try to get Parish Song happening on both of those Pokemon. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but we were able to come back from that, and that is kind of what's important, but now we know Como -O runs soundproof. Now, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try to have some daily uploads this week, Monday through Friday, as I'm doing my best to record all five, bless you, all five episodes today. So fingers crossed, let's see how well my computer actually does trying to record all of them today. But hopefully it works out. If it does, I'll be seeing you tomorrow with another battle with this team. Once again, my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear with Yen Bear Gaming, and I hope you have a great day, great week, great life, and happy battles. Goodbye.